life raft. Whether your life raft is a canister life raft mounted up on the bow or the foredeck somewhere, or a valise pack life raft like we have here, you're gonna have a painter line. You wanna make sure that this painter line is attached securely to your boat before you throw the life raft in the water. And you do that for a couple reasons. The big one is, if you deploy this life raft in any kind of a windy situation and you don't have it tied to something, I tell people that'll be the second worst feeling you had that day after you realized you had to leave your ship, is you just lost your life raft also. Because if you drop that in the water, you deploy it and you let it go, it's gonna go, okay? Now you have to try to catch it and chances are you're not gonna be able to do that. So make sure it's tied to something. You also want to tie stay to your boat, stay tied to your boat for as long as possible. This makes you a bigger target for search and rescue should your boat not sink all the way. You have your life raft in a valise pack life raft, you go ahead and you make sure you get all the painter line. Drop it on the deck before you throw the life raft over the side. Canister life raft, you're gonna go up there, release the canister, throw the whole canister in the water. Either way, once you're all finished, what you're gonna have there's a life raft sitting in the water and a painter line. What you want to do is you want to grab that painter line, and what you're going to do is you're going to pull back on the painter line, give a sharp tug, and that's going to deploy your life raft. Okay? Should you forget to do this part, the tie-off part, what you want to do is you want to get in the water with the life raft and reach right up there where it enters back into the valise, just reach right up there and pull that and then the life raft will deploy. If you can, have everybody off the boat with you. Because once again, if you don't have this tied to something, you're gonna have a life raft and everybody else is gonna be waving at you as you float away, okay? If you get everybody else out there, have everybody grab onto a piece of painter line while they're in the water. Now, when the life raft deploys, they can hand over hand until you get to the life raft and then board. Uh, the other end of the painter line is typically attached to a D-ring at the base of your boarding ladder. Okay? That D-ring is designed to come apart at about 500 pounds. So the weight of your boat going down is not going to take your life raft. This one has a platform. Yay. Okay. That's all it takes. Okay, do you hear that noise? That's the last sound you want to hear when you've been into a life raft. That's air leaking out of it. Okay, there's more gas in that cylinder that's required to fill a life raft. So there's pressure relief valves that are going to relieve the excess pressure. Depending on where you are in the world, if you're far enough south and it's a hot day, you're going to hear that for a while because as that gas that went into that life raft expands and heats up, it can come out of those pressure relief valves. That's okay, all right? Now, make sure if you have to deploy a life raft that you have put the life raft over the side. Do not deploy the life raft on the stern of the boat in hopes that you might need it later. When you deploy a life raft, you saw how quickly that deployed. That came up in about 10 to 15 seconds. The life raft deployment is the last thing you're going to do before you leave your boat. You've done everything else you can to save your boat. There's no saving the boat. We've got to go. Put the life raft in the water and get in. Okay. A lot of people have damaged their life raft by deploying it out on the stern and then saying, okay, let's get it over the side. So now you've got everything in the world going on. Now you're trying to put the life raft in the water. Life raft's the last thing to go in, okay? Last possible second. As you saw, you can deploy it and, and dive right in it, be off your boat in less than 15 seconds. Okay, grab, that, grab the line. Put your foot or knee on the bottle and pull. Just go hand over hand. There you go. Just like that. Now, once you've done that, there you go. Just like that. <laughs> 